an early power play kind of throws that bench off too. Gets those lines out of whack for the early going. The Spitfires would sacrifice that for an early goal here. And it's Abraham to carry the mail in over the line. Abraham tries wide of the goal, sets it in and scores! There you go, Spitfires take right first. Well, you just said it, Chris. They would take an early power play goal here. And that's exactly what happens. Ryan Abraham enters the zone with speed. Corner punches it away from Bishop. The Spitfires have control back to the point. Cristoforo near side. Morno hammers one well wide. It bounces to the side of the goal. Nesbitt out for Green Tree. Sells it down on the forehand. Green Tree makes a move to the middle. Protus now turns by the scores. Spitfires get another power play goal. In the box, so it will not be a power play goal, but they're second on four shots. So they have a two nothing lead. Well, it certainly feels like a power play goal as you see Green Tree drive off the wall with this puck, takes two guys with them. Protus grabs that loose puck. He found a spot on the roster. It's stories like that all the time. Kids think you gotta get drafted high and there's no chance, but you've always got a chance. Scores! Elwater and Knuckle Puck gets by Papado. And that's three for the Spitties. I think that's going to be it for Caleb Papano. He's allowed three goals on five shots. This one from a tough, tough angle. Oh, and Outwater wasn't even really looking at the net. Just turns and fires it and it goes far side. Now his pass off the skate of Hay and it's going to get down the ice and the Saginaw Spear will take this opportunity in a long change to get some fresh legs on 45 seconds into the penalty. Here's Protus. Turning, shooting, scoring! Ilya Protus is second of the game. Spitfire's power play stays hot and so does Ilya Protus. So he's got some room here as he just drags this puck. Spirit. There's Ethan on the four check, and we saw him as a rookie back in 2017 with Flint. Right to that Western Conference final, and he is a uh, tough player to play against. And so is Ethan Belchez. Stay hot, young man. The Spitfire's up 5 nothing. He's starting to heat up. Belchez, eighth of the year. Two for seven up to this point. Now Green Tree buzzes in. Scores! William White's out. Green Tree makes it six nothing. Green Tree's 14th of the year. He's got a pair of assists in this one on a three-point night. Points now. Morneau gets his first point of the game. 6 nothing, and there you go. Breaks the shutout. Jokin will score. And it's 6-1. Oh, nice shot by Dimian Zilkin. Fourth goal of the season for the first year 16-year-old. You can see Costanzo is... Ah. Jake drives. Yes. He coach? Yeah, he was an uh, assistant in Belleville. There's a shot. Another one. Harmer's going to get this one. And the Saginaw Spirit showing some life here in the third. Well, two quick ones for the Spirit, and they're only four back. That one coming just 45 seconds after the first. Well, a quick strike. Loose puck, Lemieux will get to it first. He's got Martin with them. Hayes back on defense. Here's Hicks. We'll jump up into the play as his line mates change. We'll just jump it in behind DeBlasi. Loose behind the net. Here's a chance in front. Abraham will stop it home. Nobody took him. Goes to the net. The Spitfire's up 7-2. Ryan Abraham opened the scoring for the Spitfires with the power play marker early in the first, and here he is. 
potentially closing the scoring. Takes this puck from below the goal line and just goes up. Backhand attempt. Their second out of three against the Saginaw Spirit. And we will see this team again here coming up in December. Spitfires begin the weekend with a victory. 7-2. We're back to wrap it up. You got a town score. Your three stars coming up.